That's a remake of this movie with Liam Neeson coming out, which looks pretty good. Um, but I watched the original last night, and I want to review it for you guys because I love this movie. I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to tell you what I liked about it, and just the performances all around it. So let's go ahead and let's review In Order of Disappearance. In Order of Disappearance is directed by Hans Peter Mullen and stars Stellan Skarsgård, I think I said his name right, as, um, damn, what was his name again? Niels, Niels Dickman. And Niels Dickman is this snowplow driver who one day finds out that his son and his friend have been killed by these drug dealers. And now he wants to find out who did this. And then um, whenever we find out that the friend died, the dad goes on a revenge path of just some of the bloodiest revenge and then um we meet the main villain who is whose name is old Fosby. i'll put in the description what his real name is but we meet him and he is a sinister villain we um see some more of this of how he's of how he and his ex-wife share the um custody of the son and just he has to deal with that while also dealing with the people who murdered his um family uh, no like who who not no who murdered not who murdered his family that's the other guy but who murdered the kid like who murdered the people of his henchmen so basically this movie is actually pretty good it's filled with fantastic performances first of all Stellan Skarsgård who's the dad of Alexander and Bill Skarsgård gives a super a superb performance in this amazing performance. Probably one of my favorite performances from him. I've liked the dude ever since I saw him in Thor. I will continue to like him. He's a good. He's a great actor. I'm glad. I'm glad that actually we making this movie because of the fact that it was in Norwegian. But I want to see what they can do with with Hans Peter Mullen because he's also directing Cold Pursuit, the American remake. I want to see what he can do with it. Um, but yeah, this movie is interesting. This movie can tell us a great story. How. Um, Paul Severheim Hagen, I think that's how you say his name, is the main villain in this, and he, his performance is sinister. Like I said, his performance is sinister. He's such a menacing villain. He's fucking scary. He's a scary villain. Um, and you don't, that's one guy you don't want to mess with at all, and you'll find out later. If you, if you watch this movie, it's on Netflix. If you watch this, you'll find out why you don't want to mess with this guy. This movie is filled with great performances, a great story. This is a short review because I just wanted to get it out there. I want to review for you guys really quick. There'll be a longer review um, if I go see Cold Pursuit, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, um, that I'm hoping to go see that. I'm also hoping to go see Glass. So I'm hoping to see some other movies. There should be a review. I heard, um, I heard they made a Son of Shaft movie. And I'm interested to see that trailer and, and review it and see what it's all about. But anyways, in order of disappearance, it's going to get an A plus from me. Oh, I also forgot to say, someone from Game of Thrones, I'm not going to spoil who's in it. Someone from Game of Thrones, a particular actor from Game of Thrones, shows up in order of disappearance. And his performance is amazing. His performance is fantastic. I'm glad I was able to see him. So guys, this movie is going to get an A plus from me. I really enjoyed it. Have you guys seen an order of disappearance? If you have, let me know what you thought of it. And as always, if you want to see more of my reviews, just click on my channel to see more. This is me saying so long. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.